Congratulations to the St. Louis Cardinals for winning a wild World Series over Texas and to Tony La Russa, who now retires. This week on the Spotlight, we're at the Beverly Coffee Shop talking to customers about their favorite sports teams and such. And then we flash back. 1996, I think you know that basketball player. Pretty popular in the Chicago area. And less popular in the Chicago area, this superstar hockey player. This week. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, this is the 23rd year of the Lansing Floral Sports Spotlight. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. Cobblestones Restaurant and Bar, 514 West Pershing, that's Pershing and Parnell, the place to go before, during, and after Sox games. Open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Open Sundays when the White Sox are home, and Friday night trivia when the Sox are on the road. Want to get a haircut from a great hairstylist? Call mine, Rose Marillo, 312-726-2201. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. Be safe with Sureway Insurance Company, 3312 North Milwaukee. Call my friend Jean at 773-282-2022. She has the answers on your auto, home, business, life coverage, including SR22 coverage drivers. Call Sureway Insurance. Hi, my name is Rose, and I've been a skilled hairstylist for over 10 years. I specialize in men's haircuts and in corrective color. Um, come visit me at Salon 203 at 203 North LaSalle, 312-726-2201. And while you're at it, come in and get a shoe shine and a shave. It's a great place where a man can be a man. Since 1967, El Jardin has been serving the finest Mexican food. Before, after, or during ball games, located conveniently just three blocks south of Wrigley Field, 3335 North Clark. Whether there's a game or not, you still get hungry, and El Jardin has great service, great food, and great drinks. I've enjoyed every meal I've had there, and you will too. So get to El Jardin for great Mexican food at 3335 North Clark Street in Chicago. You'll be glad you did. We're back on the spotlight. We're at the Beverly Coffee Shop. We're here on 111th Street, right between California and Washtenaw. Yeah, that's correct. 111th and Fairfield. Uh, we're having a great time talking to customers. This is a week with no Bears game, so people can talk about whatever they want to talk about. Uh, this young man's going to talk about uh, the coffee shop, and maybe we can sneak in a sports question. Uh, tell everybody your name and coffee shop thoughts. My name is Neil. I'm a regular here. I uh, leave the biggest tips, and this is my favorite coffee shop where we can sit around and chatter, read the newspaper, or just continue if you happen to have a job, which I don't. <laughs> yes, but you had uh, many great years uh, serving Chicago. Yes, I did, and I miss it dearly. Uh, speaking of Chicago, you're a big uh, fan of Chicago teams, and uh, it looks like you were a fan of the 2005 Chicago World Series champion White Sox. That is correct. Okay, and now about the Chicago Bears. Earlier today, you told me that there was a player you think that might deserve a little bit of a raise because of his excellent play. Um, tell the fans at home who that is. I believe all should know Master, Mr. Mr. Forte is, uh, uh, is very much deserving of any kind of money he wants. Uh, and I don't know why they're putting it off, but he should get his contract during this, even even during this bye week, would be a, which would be a nice thing. I'm sure he even played better. All right. Well, that's an interesting take. I I'm guessing the Bears are thinking that by dangling the carrot, they're going to get great play out of him all year. But uh, you you want the immediate reward for him? Yes, because I'll be honest with you, I think he's a free agent at the end of the year, and uh, 
I'm sure any team would pick him up by the end of the year with the with the kind of uh, numbers he's putting up. And uh, without him, I don't know who else they'd have. So let's get with it, pay the man. All right, well, they're talking about the leader in receiving and in rushing, and uh, we'll look for that uh, in the next coming weeks. Uh, we'll be back with more very soon here on this very show. Uh, I can't even follow that up anymore. <laughs> more people coming into the Beverly Coffee Shop, uh, and we're going to find out their name and what they think of the coffee shop. My name is Colleen Clark, and it is a very cute, quaint little place in the neighborhood. You can just walk here. Yeah, that, there is a great walk-up crowd, and some people even walk up to the drive-up window, and they allow that, which is cool. Yes. What did you order today? I ordered a strawberry banana smoothie. Oh, so as you can see, you can kind of get uh, stuff with a couple of calories, or you could get the healthy way that Colleen went today. Uh, there, and and uh, a, high, a great array of sandwiches. I almost said a high array of sandwiches. <laughs> uh, my, one of my favorites is the tuna salad. Uh, but they have chicken, they have turkey, they have veggie, they have salami, they have ham. Uh, really, a great range. So come in and check out the Beverly Coffee Shop. You can talk sports. You can talk about the Bears at 4-3. and three. You can talk about... You like the Blackhawks, don't you? Yes, I do. Uh, do you have a favorite player? I like Patrick Kane. I like, uh, what the heck's his name? Um, Jonathan Taze? Yeah, I like Taze. I think they're all kind of cute. They're all nice, young, little, 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 little tushies, you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't really, can't really address that. But uh, if that's what the draw is, that's sports in America. Uh, we'll talk lingerie football later in the program. But right now, we're going to take a little uh, time out from this while we all recover. <laughs> Since 1955, Rosangela's Pizza has been there for you at 95th and California, across from Little Company Mary Hospital. You can call them at 708-422-2041. Everything homemade, including the sauce, great beef and meatball sandwiches, pasta, chicken, seafood, desserts, dine-in for lunch and dinner, Rosangela's, 95th and California. It's always the season for Riley's Trick Shop at 6442 West 111th and Worth, or you can call them at 708-448-448. 0075. Right now they have football strip cards, a wide selection of Halloween costumes and tricks and treats. And then for later in the year, Santa suits. So for all your needs, especially Halloween, Riley's Trick Shop on 111th Street. Nuevo Leon for the best Mexican cuisine since 1962. Serving every day from 7 a.m. to midnight, conveniently located 1515 West 18th Street, just a block east of Ashland in Chicago. Of course, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a wide range of menu items. Everything from steak, seafood, to breakfast, to chicken, pork, dine-in, carry-out, tacos, enchiladas, everything you can imagine, and great quality in Nuevo Leon, 1515 West 18th. You've got to call Vince's Towing if you need road service flatbed service, or you want the highest price paid to you for a junk car, call 773-581-7647. They did a great job for me, and they'll do it for you. Call Vince's Towing, 773-581-7647. We're back here at the Beverly Coffee Shop, and uh, fans of the establishment and of Chicago sports are here. Let's find out what they uh, have to say. Tell us your name and your favorite menu item. Um, I'm Catherine, and I like cookie dough shakes. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, let's continue with our uh, Q&A. Tell us your name and what you like best. I'm Momo, and I like smoothies. Okay, and tell us your name and what's good on the menu. I'm Taylor, and I like bagels. Okay. Well, you see, there's a wide range of uh, thoughts and opinions, but it's all great food here. So way, way more than just coffee. And you can come in any time of the year, any time of the day, starting at 6 a.m., and you'll be glad you did. Now let's find out if there's a sports thought. Um, tell us your favorite team and or favorite player. The Hawks, and I like Jonathan Taze. Okay. And you said you had a relative that worked for a Chicago team? Um, the Bears, and I don't know what she <laughs> did. She had a job. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, and tell us uh, if you like a team and a player. 
Um, I like the White Sox and the Hawks. And Did you mention a baseball player's name? Yeah, Paul Canerco. Yes. Can't go wrong with Paul Canerco. He was on our show uh, at the end of the season. We showed him a 16-inch softball. And White Sox players, or any baseball players who aren't from the Chicago area aren't used to seeing that. And he was looked at it, kind of freaked out. It was kind of funny to see. But anyway, we're going to have um, moments from uh, past Chicago sports years a little later in the program. But the bottom line is, get to the Beverly Coffee Shop. You can see the address. We close out our Beverly Coffee Shop fan opinion segment this week. Uh, with a hockey man. Uh, Mike is here with us. I know he's played some goalie in his life. Uh, how long have you played goalie and where have you played? Bad, I've been playing for about 40 years. Wow. <laughs> That's serious. Uh, tell me some of the locations or rinks. Uh, probably just a lot of rinks in the, uh, the southern suburbs is really where I've based myself from. Southwest in Crestwood, uh, HF in Homewood for probably played most of my uh, games there probably the last 14 15 years uh, now I presently play in st. John Indiana so yeah the southern suburbs a lot of fun all right tell me some of your favorite Blackhawks over the years uh, that have impressed you well being a goalie I have to say my number one idol was has always been uh, Tony Esposito I've always uh, looked up to him and uh, even wore some of his equipment uh, his mask that they had out uh, when I was a kid, and uh, uh, oddly enough, I was wearing it in a game one time. <laughs> I took a puck to the head and, and got knocked out, but I was worried about my mask when I woke up in the hospital, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just all the greats. Um, Bobby Hall, when I used to go to, my dad used to take us to games when I was a little kid in the old stadium, and uh, so we got to see a lot of games there, and, and Bobby Hall, uh, number one, Stan Makita, uh, and then just all the characters, uh, Jerry Coram, you know, King Kong Coram, yeah. and uh, there, there's just, just there's just so many pet. It's hard to remember them, but just yeah, just know. a long time Hawk fan, long time hockey fan. And it's just any any on the current Stanley Cup uh, recent champions? Uh, my favorites. Well, it would Niemi actually, believe it or not. I mean, I know he's gone now, but again, I mean, I'm. I'm a goalie, so I kind of gravitate more towards goalies. So, uh, and then looking back, uh, you know, just to me, some of the greats in the league that are, you know, retired now, maybe, maybe most of them, is uh, someone like Patrick Waugh. Uh, but, uh, no, it's just goalies are a different breed, and uh, so we kind of stick with our own. Yes, I, I can speak to that. And I guess, in a way, I was one in the 80s, so... Uh, I'd like to think I'm part of that club, but we're, we're glad you participated. Oh, by the way, uh, what were you drinking today? That was an apple smoothie. Apple smoothie, yeah. Oh, those are fantastic. Uh, it's all natural. They taste like the real thing, and uh, I mean, I would definitely recommend that to anybody that comes in here. Those are very, very good. All right, well, you got a healthy athlete saying, uh, come on in. What, what, what greater endorsement can you get? Come down to the Beverly Coffee Shop. Talk sports, have a good time, read a paper. Uh, all good things going on here, right here on 111th Street. All right, we're closing this out by showing you some fine menu items here. Uh, we have a very delicious looking item there. Uh, identify yourself and tell us what that is. My name is Nicole and I have created a, um, a bruschetta bread. It's, a gar it's on a garlic bread here. Um, with melted mozzarella cheese and melted um, provolone cheese with tomatoes and basil on top. Um, and the other one that we have here is, uh, well that's the one with tomatoes on it, the tomato uh, bread, tomato garlic bread with basil and melted cheese. And the other one that we have across the table is um, a garlic, uh, a garlic bread. It's a uh, garlic with melted mozzarella, melted provolone with a uh, it. How do you like it? I'm really loving it. Thanks for giving me the mic back with my mouth full. But that's all the time we have a program today. So, signing off from the Beverly Coffee Shop on 111th Street. We'll see you later on. 
with a 30-year Southwest Side tradition. Huck Finn is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Cobblestones is a great bar on Pershing with great food at Parnell. In fact, they're one of the top 100 bars in the city according to Chicago Magazine. Great pastas, salads, soups, and the great sandwich is the muffalata. So check it out. Great place to go when the White Sox play. I have trivia on Fridays when the White Sox aren't at home. So get to Cobblestones on 39th and you'll be very glad you did. Come play in the area's classiest billiard center, Duke Box Billiards, 7910 Calumet Avenue in Munster, two blocks south of 8094. Selling the most famous names of pool tables and billiard equipment. Specializing in table recovery and moving of tables. A complete pro shop with the most brand names of cues and cases. Celebrating over 20 years, excellence, top billiard tables, the place where the action is, Duke Box Billiards, 7910 Calumet in Munster. No one expected the nature of this blowout. In fact, uh, as the Bulls will describe shortly, getting off to that 10 nothing start pretty much ended the game effectively. Even though Orlando's coach wouldn't admit to it, uh, the Bulls set the tone, then proceeded to uh, extend the thrashing well into the fourth quarter. We'll start with Michael Jordan, who has some interesting analysis about his personal grudge match with the Magic, considering what happened last year. Michael, was this game fun at any point? There's a very business-like approach that you've taken over the last games and into this one. Uh, did it get fun in the middle? It's fun and even before we stepped on the court. The game of basketball is fun. Yeah, we take, to a certain extent, some business approaches, but if it's not fun in taking that, then uh, quite naturally we shouldn't play the game. But, um, you know, it became fun when it was very evident. I mean, we showed our, our funness when it became evident that we were in control of the game, you know, down the stretch with, the, you know, some of the reserves coming in and, and enjoying the, their moment of on the basketball court in front of a lot of people. It's not quite the, the, the physical bruteness of New York Knicks. Um, but I think they have a physical aspect about them with, with Shaq in the middle I and mean, in the way that he plays. I mean, they play aggressive defense, hands-on defense. Uh, they attack the ball. But I, I don't think physically they try to attack you mentally, you know, or leave bruises on your broken bones or whatever, you know, uh, which is different. Uh, it's, a, it's more of a mental attack than a physical. <laughs> That was our main objective was to come out and, you know, we were not going to uh, double team Shaq unless we felt we were at a disadvantage. Uh, and, and same with Hardaway. Uh, Scotty may not get the credit of his, his job on Hardaway because Hardaway scored 38 points. I mean, but what he did was, was adequate to a point where we didn't have to double team. I mean, we didn't have to leave Nick Anderson. We didn't have to leave Dennis Scott or Horace. Uh, those two guys scored basically all the points. If those two guys are going to score 100 points, 110 points, then I think we'll lose uh, the game you know, from the way that we approach it. We approach it to a point where we're trying to keep the bench out of the play and, and not let those three individuals hurt us. Michael, should Orlando's confidence be shaken by the margin of this victory? I don't think so. I think these guys, with Horace being their leader and, and, a, and a veteran player, could bounce back uh, ready. They know this, this is just one game. 
You know, we can't take this one game and say we won this series. I think we have to go out there and, and orchestrate our, uh, the type of a defense that we want to and offense that we want to and, 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 and make it reality instead of just one game. What is the most balanced attack you've been a part of in the playoffs in your career? I don't know. I don't have all of them in front of me. I can't remember. I think we, we attacked uh, from all different areas. Uh, we let the offense dictate uh, really the contribution that we had as, a, as an overall. I mean, we didn't, no one individual went out to try to break this team down individually. We moved the ball around, took what the defense gave us, and uh, we made things happen. And I think it was a very balanced attack. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't think, uh, we knew that handling them on the boards was going to be one of our biggest obstacles coming into this series because uh, that's why they won the New York series, uh, because they dominated the backboards. Um, and I certainly didn't think that uh, you know we would we would ever end up with this type of disparity rebounding wise in one basketball game, but we did today, and it's obviously something we have to correct. At what point was this game over, effectively? <laughs> I don't know. You, uh, I have no idea when it was over. <laughs> Well, I don't, re I don't remember him passing up a lot of jump shots. Uh, there might have been one there that I vaguely remember when uh, they stunned at him, but uh, um, I, I, don't, I don't remember him passing up shots. Uh, he did only have one rebound at, at the half, which is, uh, which is not typical of him. But, uh, uh, you know, again, I can't, as I said, the rebounding is, is just sheer effort hard work, concentration, and, and that's something that we can only change from within. I'm totally unaware of that, of any, any injury to his elbow coming, uh, coming into this game. Uh, I, I have no awareness of that whatsoever. To the best of my knowledge, this happened uh, on the play that he fell to the ground. You better get some awareness going, mister, because uh, your club could be out and your job could be gone. Good luck, I think. I eat on the pasta twice just Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria at Grand and Racine is the place to go before United Center Pavilion, Bulls, Hawks, Cubs and Sox too. Dine in or carry out with great family recipes including homemade pastas, steaks, seafood, a great fun bar area. Meet people. Have a tremendous time at Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria Grand in Racine. You'll find a great variety of foods for you to enjoy at Salerno's. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Alsip, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous grade of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. Lanigan's Irish Pub is the place to be at 3119 West 111th Street, right by Kedzie. Live music on Sunday with Fast Eddie. Drink specials daily, including a buck fifty domestic bottles on Thursday, three dollar Guinness on Tuesday. Call for karaoke information on Friday. Party room too. All that available at Lanigan's Irish Pub, 3119 West 111th Street on the beautiful South Side of Chicago. Get there, Lanigan's Irish Pub. Get to the Beverly Coffee Shop at 2734 West 111th Street. Open at 6 a.m. daily with, of course, fresh coffee, many teas, breakfast, lunch, bagels, muffins, and more. Sandwiches, soups, and pizza bagels. They even have juice and Red Bull. Call ahead for your order, 773-429-9650. That's the Beverly Coffee Shop. We're back in the spotlight, and I guess the symbolism of this shot of the basement of the stadium would be drowning one's sorrows. And that's what the Blackhawks could be doing at this point, but we're switching gears to the winning locker room of their game on Sunday. The defending Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins and their ace, Mario Lemieux, who talked to us after some injury treatment. Uh, first of all, I wanted to congratulate you on 400. That does, that's pretty intense. Uh, can you elaborate on that? Well, that's uh, certainly a lot of goals. Uh, you know, I was fortunate over the years to play with some good players, and uh, you know, it's 
it's always uh, a lot of fun to score goals for me. I've been doing it since I was young, and uh, you know, to score 400 goals in the National Hockey League, Hockey League was uh, was a great thrill. The Chicago Stadium is believed by many to be one of the tougher places to play. You fell behind here and made one of the more dramatic rallies. Uh, that doesn't happen a lot in this building. You must be aware of that. Yeah, um, you know, they have a great defensive team. They play very well defensively, and um, you know, you don't want to be down a couple goals uh, in the third period when you come in, come into this building. So. It was a good comeback for us. It was a, certainly a big win because uh, uh, we're trying to, you know, make the playoffs again this year. So uh, it was a big win to come back tonight. A lot of people are so surprised to see the defending Stanley Cup champions in fourth place, kind of hanging on going into the playoff. Uh, why haven't we seen more of these come from behind wins from the Penguins? Well, we certainly uh, have been struggling a little bit this year uh, early in the season. Then we played uh, pretty well for about 20 games, then uh, went into a slump again just before our, our uh, big trade uh, about three weeks ago. So uh, we feel that the team is playing a lot better the last uh, couple of weeks, and hopefully we can improve uh, towards the end of the season and, and uh, get ready for the, for the playoffs. How have you adjusted to the change in coaches? Well, it was uh, certainly very difficult to lose a great person, a great coach uh, like Bob Johnson. But uh, now that he's gone, we have to adjust to uh, to Scotty. He's uh, certainly proven in the past to be a, a great coach. He's won many cups, and uh, we respect him that way. So uh, he's got a lot of inputs uh, on this team, that's for sure. Last question. The Blackhawks last year were the top team record-wise, as you were the champions. And this year, they're really struggling. Okay. Do you see the differences in that team? Well, it's always tough, uh, you know, to play two great seasons back to back. Uh, with us, it's the same thing. With the Blackhawks, it's the same thing. So uh, every team is ready for you, uh, game in, game out, and that's why uh, it's tough to produce every night. We go back to 1989, Bears and Bengals, and take it away, Pat. Tom Zach threw in an interception on his first pass of 1989, but the defense was up to the challenge for the Bears as usual, as the Monsters of the Midway had to rally from deficits of 7-0, 14-7, and 14-10 to finally pull it out of the fire. It's all over but the shouting here at Soldier Field. A tremendous performance by the Bears in the second half. The key to the game, a 95-yard touchdown drive led by Mike Tomzak, capped off by a 20-yard touchdown pass to RoboCop Thornton, and the final gun has just gone off. The Bears win it 17-14 over the AFC champion Bengals. Hey, it doesn't make my prediction of the pregame, 20-17, look too bad. I had the correct margin anyway. So as they all go off in celebration, at least the Bears do, I think we should head off ourselves, talk to Mike Ditka, some of the key players. We'll have our selections for offensive and defensive players of the game. And uh, maybe we'll quiz Mike Ditka a little bit about all that yardage the Bengals piled up. Neil Anderson, the obvious choice, as offensive player of the game with 146 yards, a career best. Dan Hampton was great, too, on defense. Well, needless to say, we're, we're late to come out of that one. Uh, we're very, I don't know, maybe we're fortunate. Maybe we did some of the right things we had to do at the right time. But we're, we, we were fortunate to beat a, a great football team today. And... Uh, we just ended up on top. Sam was right. It was a very close game. It could have went either way. Uh, we made some mistakes. Uh, we made a few more than they made. But that's the kind of football team we were up against. Uh, they didn't get to the Super Bowl by being uh, just anybody. So it was a, it's a very much, much appreciated victory for us. Believe me, we, uh, we understand that we didn't think that we were at our best in a couple areas. But when you're not at your best, you better give credit to the other football team. And I, I think we better do that because... Uh, See you next week. This week's show has been brought to you by the Lansing Floral Shop. Call for your flowers at 708-474-1212. Huck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Imprint Graphics, leaders in booklet perfect bound saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing, 708-396-1010.